the General Problem Solver GPS, was a landmark achievement in the field of artificial intelligence AI, developed by Alan Newell and Herbert A. Simon in 1957. The GPS was an early attempt to create a general-purpose problem-solving system that could tackle a wide range of problems by applying a set of heuristics and problem-solving techniques. The GPS was designed to mimic human problem-solving strategies and aimed to solve problems in a logical and systematic manner. It operated by representing problems and their associated knowledge in a symbolic form, and applied problem-solving rules to manipulate these symbols. One of the key innovations of the GPS was the use of means-ends analysis, a problem-solving strategy that involves identifying the differences between the current problem state and the desired goal state, and applying operators to reduce these differences. Means-ends analysis is a problem-solving approach that involves breaking down a complex problem into smaller sub-goals or sub-problems and then identifying the means or actions that can be taken to bridge the gap between the current state and the desired goal state. The system works by comparing the current state of the problem with the desired goal state, and formulating subgoals that would reduce the difference between the two states. The program uses operators or rules to manipulate the problem state, moving from one state to another through a series of actions. Means-ends analysis is used to select and apply operators that are most likely to lead to the desired goal state. It involves continuously monitoring the progress made toward the goal, detecting obstacles or barriers, and making appropriate adjustments to the problem-solving strategy. By applying means-ends analysis, GPS can iteratively refine its approach breaking down the problem into manageable steps and gradually reducing the difference between the current state and the desired goal state, until the problem is solved or a solution is reached. The means-ends analysis in the context of GPS involves the following steps. 1. Problem decomposition. Means-ends analysis starts by decomposing a complex problem into smaller, more manageable sub-goals. These subgoals represent intermediate states that, when achieved, bring the system closer to the final goal state. By breaking down the problem into subproblems, GPS can focus on addressing specific aspects of the problem and simplify the overall problem solving process. 2. Difference reduction Once the subgoals are identified, Means-ends analysis focuses on reducing the difference or gap between the current state and the desired goal state. It analyzes the problem state and determines the main obstacles or differences that prevent the system from reaching the goal state directly. 3. Operator selection. GPS employs a set of operators or rules that define the actions that can be performed on the problem state. These operators represent possible steps or actions that can be taken to modify the problem state and bring it closer to the goal state. Means-ends analysis involves selecting the most suitable operator based on its potential to reduce the difference between the current state and the goal state. The system evaluates the operators based on their relevance, effectiveness, and efficiency in achieving the desired outcome. 4. Subgoal ordering. In means-ends analysis, the system determines the order in which the subgoals should be pursued. It considers the dependencies and relationships between the subgoals to create a plan or strategy for achieving the desired goal state. The ordering of subgoals ensures that each subgoal is addressed in a sequence that maximizes progress toward the overall goal. 5. Monitoring and adjustments, as the problem-solving process unfolds, GPS continuously monitors the progress made toward the goal state. It checks whether the selected operators are leading to the desired outcomes or if there are unexpected barriers or obstacles. If obstacles are encountered, 
the system adjusts its strategy by selecting alternative operators or modifying the order of sub-goals. This iterative process allows GPS to adapt and refine its problem-solving approach based on the feedback received during execution. Means-ends analysis, as employed by GPS, provided a framework for systematic problem-solving by breaking down problems into manageable parts, defining sub-goals, selecting relevant operators, and iteratively reducing the difference between the current state and the desired goal state. This approach laid the foundation for subsequent developments in problem-solving and planning within the field of artificial intelligence. The GPS was also notable for its ability to learn from experience and adapt its problem-solving strategies. It employed a form of trial and error learning, where it would try different problem-solving approaches and evaluate their success. Based on this evaluation, the GPS would modify its problem-solving techniques and heuristics to improve its future performance. The trial and error method worked in GPS as follows. 1. Operator Application GPS utilized a set of predefined operators or rules that defined the possible actions that could be applied to the problem state. These operators were designed to modify the problem state and move it closer to the goal state. In the trial and error method, GPS would randomly select an operator and apply it to the current problem state, without any prior knowledge of its effectiveness. 2. State Evaluation After applying an operator to the problem state, GPS evaluated the resulting state to determine whether progress had been made towards the goal state. The system compared the new state with the desired goal state and assessed the difference or discrepancy between them. 3. Backtracking and retry If the applied operator did not lead to a reduced difference between the current state and the goal state, GPS would backtrack and retry a different operator. The system would undo the changes made by the unsuccessful operator and try another operator from the available set. 4. Iterative Exploration GPS repeated this process of applying operators, evaluating the resulting states, and backtracking until a solution was found or until a termination condition was met. The system explored different operators in a trial and error manner, learning from unsuccessful attempts and refining its search based on the feedback received. 5. Problem Specific Knowledge Although trial and error was a general technique used in GPS, the system could also leverage problem-specific knowledge to guide the search process. For example, if the problem domain provided some heuristics or hints about potentially successful operators, GPS could prioritize or bias its trial and error exploration based on that information. The trial and error method in GPS allowed the system to explore the problem space, test different operators, and gradually refine its search until a satisfactory solution was found. It provided a flexible approach to problem solving, albeit without the efficiency and guidance provided by more advanced search algorithms and problem solving techniques developed in subsequent years. The significance of the GPS in the development of AI is multifold. 1. General Problem Solving Approach The GPS introduced a general problem solving approach that could be applied to a wide range of problems. It demonstrated that a single problem solving system could be designed to tackle diverse problem domains, showcasing the potential of AI systems to exhibit general intelligence. 2. Heuristics and Problem-Solving Techniques The GPS popularized the use of heuristics and problem-solving techniques in AI. It showcased the importance of intelligent search strategies, means-ends analysis, and hierarchical goal decomposition in efficient problem-solving. 3. Symbolic Representation and Manipulation the GPS emphasized the use of symbolic representation and manipulation of knowledge. 
It highlighted the power of representing problem states and operators as symbols, and manipulating them using logical operations and rules. 4. Learning and Adaptation The GPS demonstrated the ability of AI systems to learn from experience and adapt their problem-solving strategies. Its trial and error learning approach allowed the GPS to improve its performance over time by modifying its heuristics and techniques based on feedback. 5. Influence on problem-solving research The GPS had a significant impact on subsequent research in problem-solving and planning in AI. Its techniques and principles became foundational for the development of more advanced problem-solving systems, planning algorithms, and decision-making frameworks. 6. Cognitive Science and Human Problem Solving The GPS influenced the field of cognitive science by providing insights into human problem-solving processes. Its emphasis on symbolic representation, means-ends analysis, and hierarchical goal decomposition inspired researchers studying human cognition and problem-solving. 7. Development of AI Planning The GPS laid the foundation for the development of AI planning, a subfield of AI that focuses on automatically generating plans or sequences of actions to achieve goals. The principles and techniques introduced by the GPS became integral to subsequent research in AI planning. The General Problem Solver, GPS, was a significant contribution to AI showcasing the potential of general problem-solving systems and the importance of heuristics, symbolic representation, and learning in AI research. The GPS influenced subsequent advancements in AI, including planning systems, decision-making frameworks, and cognitive models of human problem-solving. Its impact on the field continues to be felt, as it shaped the development of AI systems that can tackle complex problems in a logical and systematic manner.